Hello everyone, this is Paul from DLT Trading and today I'm going to show you the Benchmade 535 bug out. So this has been a very popular knife uh, so far this year. We've barely been able to keep them in stock. So finally I snagged one. We got a fresh delivery this morning uh, to do a quick video here. Go over the specs on this. Overall length is 7.46 inches. Close length 4.22. Blade length 3.24. Blade thickness 0 0.09 made out of S30V steel winging at a tiny 1.85 ounces. So there's a couple other similar knives of this size and weight in the Benchmade lineup. Uh, one of them, this is my personal 531. Then the 530. So very similar size, weight, uh, construction. Uh, the middle one here, the 531 is G10. Uh, these, these two are Grivery. So overall, you can see the difference in the blade. These are both spear style blades. This one with a dagger grind, a high saber grind, and this is more of a drop point blade. So in the 535, there's only two standard configurations. Benchmade typically does four, a satin, satin serrated, black, and black serrated. Out of the gate, there's only two configurations, both satin blades, uh, plain edges you see here and a partially serrated version. I'll go over some of the uh, minor details that uh, some people might uh, miss out on or not see right away. The addition of a deep carry clip out of the box. So typically Benchmates come with this arrow style clip which is going to leave about this much knife sticking out of your pocket. The addition of the deep carry clip is a very nice option. On my personal one here, I have swapped this out for an aftermarket deep carry clip. You know, it's just something that a lot of people like and you know, you won't have to spend, you know, anywhere between 10 and 30 bucks depending on where you get the clip from when you get it in the box. Um, blacked, blacked out axis lock, which is uh, not very common with the addition of a blue thumb stud. So just nice little touches across the board here uh, all the way around and a very large rear lanyard hole. If you're not into lanyards, it doesn't impede any function. So it's just a little visual cue if you're not into lanyards. I, I personally like lanyards, so it's a nice big hole uh, to put the lanyard through. Because like on these other ones, to fit a non-gutted piece of paracord it can be a little tricky, not impossible, but uh, the bigger the easier it is. And in hand, it's very comfortable. It is, you know, I don't have huge hands, but it's a full full size knife, but weighs next to nothing. There are, try to get this here, uh, partial liners in the front here. Kind of hard hard to see. And another small cue, so it's a blue anodized barrel spacer, which I didn't see out of the gate. So, and again here in the rear. So one of those other things just, uh, you don't might not see all, all right away, but nice visual cues to make it a very well-rounded package. And if you're not used to the axis lock, it, I've never had my 531 fail on me or an axis lock in general fail, so it's a very solid lock, very easy to use. Just pull back on it and close the knife. So very well executed. These are at 114.75 in price, and they've been flying off the shelf. Like I said, we barely been able to keep them in stock. Just an excellent overall knife, especially for the price. Um, I would look at this uh, over one of the Griptilians. I, I personally just like the, the feel, the lightweight, um, the lightweight too. So if you're looking at one of the basic Griptilians, I would stack this up against it and see which one, the features you like better in the, the, you know, the visual cues and stuff like that. So, and just to compare the handle again, so a little more basic handle shape on the 530 and the 531. So a little more ergonomic on this handle. So. I really like it. This is a excellent knife and a great value for the price. So we appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comments below. And we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.